Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, you will learn what is a file and how to create file in Java programming language. So a file class can be a part of java.io package and provide functionality for creating, reading, and modifying files and directory path name. So let us understand how to create files in Java programming language. So file can be created using a file class, which is present in java.io package. Then you will create an object of it and inside it you can pass the name of the file so you will write the file name is my file dot txt so this is the object we have created of file now with the help of this object the files class support multiple methods in order to perform different operations so right now we are just creating a file so we will call a function that is a create new file and this function or maximum all the functions of the file class throws exceptions so you have to manage that you can add throws declaration along with the main method signature then you can display masses like file created okay so let us save this program and let us run and let's see what is the output of this program so here it is showing the file created let us just refresh this project right click on it refresh it you can see the my file dot text file is created and it is a simple text file it doesn't have any content this is a blank file and you can see we have not added any path inside it so by default your file will be created in your project directory so if you would like to change the path of it so simply for example you would like to create this myfile.txt inside src folder so here simply you will write src and forward slash you will save your program you will rerun it and you will see the updated output you will again refresh your project and you will see the file is created inside the src folder right or if you would like to create your file inside this package creating files right so simply you will add this in the path of it simply after src forward slash then src you will save it and you will run your program and you will see what is the output of it so let us refresh it and here you can see inside creating files your my file dot txt is created so here you can see we have just passed the relative path of a project and inside this project your file is created but how to create or how to create some file to an absolute path for example in your machine in some directory or in some folder you would like to create some file so how will you create it for example let me just remove this part okay so let me go in some directory in my machine so just wait a moment here you can see let me go in G drive or inside it, let me create a folder. So you can see this is a folder. The folder name is J code book, right? Or inside it, I would like to just create a file. So you can just copy this path. You will go to your program or just put this path before my file. Okay, and here you will see, you have to remember if you are using the Windows operating system, so here you have to pass pair of backslash or you can pass a single forward slash to create the file, right? This part. Okay. So let me just undo the changes and save this. Let us run this program. And let's see what is the output of it. So it is showing file created. Let's go back. And here you can see inside J code book, my file is created and this is a blank file right so let us go back so please be remember if you are using the backslash so single backslash will not work here the compiler will show the error means invalid escape sequence you know very well slash these escape sequence can be used for different purposes like for tab for new line for form feed for carriage returns right so single backslash will show the error if either you will use the pair of backslash or you will use the 
single forward slash, right? So let me just use a single forward slash and I will change this file name. My file one.txt, you will save it and you will run it. So it is showing file created. Let us go back. So here you can see the next my file one is created. So this is the way guys, how to create a file in using a file class. So let me just show you how to create directory, right? creating a directory okay so how to create a directory let me just make these line as a comment so directory simply can be created with the help of a file object again so here you can create an object directory is equal new file right or inside it you can pass the name of directory so i am just writing simple j code book and using simple this object directory file dot, you will call a function that is mkdir, that is make directory. And you can display a simple message like directory created. Okay. Let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it. So here you can see it is showing directory created. Let's see, let us refresh this project and you will see directory is created or not. So here you can see the J code book directory is created. Okay. So this is the way how will you create the directory or if you would like to create some sub directories. So you can use like J code book or inside it you, you would like to create that is sub directory like author and here you can write like details so this is your main directory inside it we have author then inside it we have details right so instead of mkdir you can use the function that is let me show you mkdirs so directory and you can display message directory and directory created so let us save this program. Let us run it. Just wait a moment. Here you can see what is the output of it. You can refresh your project and you will see directory. You can see inside J code book, we have author or inside author, we have details. So this is the way guys, how to create file and directory. Or if in this directory, that is details you would like to create some file so simply you can just use this code you can put this code after it okay so this subdirectory is already there okay so let me just uncomment it so inside this subdirectory if you would like to create some file just copy this path or put here in the file object then you can write my file dot txt and you will see file dot create new file and file is created let us run this and let's see what will be the output of it so here it is showing directory and subdirectory or whenever you will run this program you will just refresh your project you will see what is the output of it just refresh it inside details you can see my file dot txt file is present it is a blank file so guys this is the way how to create file directories subdirectories or you can create you know absolute directories also for example in your machine you would like to create some subdirectories so you can go to the path of it for example this is the j code book you can just have the absolute path so i will write the absolute path here for example this is G code book inside it you have uh, like uh, subdirectory one or you can write subdirectory two so first you are creating the directories and subdirectories now in the same path you are trying to create some file inside it so i will write this part just remove this this one and this one or inside this pair of 
backslash. So this is file.txt. Okay. So let us run this and you will see what is the output of it. So here you can see it is showing some error. What is the error? Let's see. Directory and subdirectory created. And after that, the system cannot find the path specified. Okay, so your path is not specified. So this path is not exist, right? So first you can create your file, then you can add some the file inside it. Okay. So let me just check directory is created or not. You will go back. So here inside subdirectory, we have subdirectory one, then you have subdirectory two. Or inside it, the file is not created. Okay. So I think we have done a small mistake this one. That's why it is showing this error. So I will just remove this part and I will write here the correct file name that is myfile.txt. Let us rerun this program and let's see what will be the output of it. So here we go. You can see it is showing properly. Let's move back. And here you can see inside this J code book, subdirectory one, then subdirectory two, the my file is created. So guys, this is the these are the different ways to create the file and subdirectories in Java programming language. So I hope you understand what is file and how to perform different operations on the files. Not operations, operations we will do in the next upcoming video session. So today we have covered only creating files and directories. In the next session, you will learn how to write data onto the file and how to read data from the file. So I hope you enjoyed this session. Bye-bye for now. Have a great day. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.